Unfortunately, when Pokemon created the weak battle decks, they didn't quite make them perfect. So while the Zashi and V weak battle deck is pretty good, it can only take you so far. So today, I'm going to show you how to turn your Zashi and V weak battle deck into a rotation proof turbo Zashi and build. Let's get into it. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of changes that we'll make to this deck, but in today's video, I'm going to try and show you the ways to change this deck to a better version without spending a ton of money. So I'm not going to be like, here's all the cards you need to get, just buy a bunch of singles. I'm going to show you some ways that you can get some of these cards for a better price. And the main way to do that is to buy a second Zashin V Week Battle Deck. So when I got my Zashin V Week Battle Deck, I actually got two because I knew that having the two would give me a second Arceus Yalgapalkia and would max out Zashian at four copies. So I think it's very wise to just go ahead and buy a second week battle deck and you'll get a lot of cards that you need. And some of those leftover ones can, are great cards to get started building a, another deck. All right, let's start with the Pokemon. So I already see this Mewtwo and since we're turning this into a Turbo Zashian deck, it's very straightforward and we wanna make sure that's post rotation. Proof. So we want to take out these Sun and Moon cards. So let's say goodbye to Mewtwo. Let's get rid of Jirachi here. Jirachi is a great card, but it's not going to stick around after rotation. And we'll get rid of ADP. I'm also going to get rid of this Gory and Zigzagoon since it's not really a card that goes super well with the Turbo Zacian build. So if you fought a second Zacian Week Battle deck, then you can put your Zacian V count up to four, which is great. We'll definitely need that. And then for these Glory and Meowth and Glory and Perserker, I'm going to put these up to two because you'll have an additional copy of both of those once you've bought a second week battle deck. And one thing that you will have to buy from some singles is the Glory and Meowth and Glory and Perserker. However, I have seen in stores, uh, I got one of these a long time ago, so I don't know if they're still out. But there is a pack where you get like a pack and you get Glory and Meowth and Glory and Perserker. Unfortunately, it's not this Meowth that you want with the Evolution Roar ability. But that's one way. If you see those and you want to get that, you can do that. But we're going to put these guys up to four. Alright, so we've added the Berserkers and the Meowth, so we have four copies of both of those. Real quick, I'm going to slide on over to the Energy. And this Energy is good. Eight Energy for Metal and two Water Energy is pretty standard. So we're going to go ahead and keep that. But I really don't think that this Aurora energy is necessary. I'm pretty sure the only reason that Pokemon put it in here is so that they could put Guzma and Hollow in. And while it would make sense for some ADP decks, it's not going to work in our Zashian build. So we're going to take that out. And I just realized we're not playing ADP. So we need to take out this water energy. And let's replace it with some metal energy. Because we won't have any Pokemon that need water type since we're not running ADP. This is going to be an all metal deck. Alright, trainer cards. So first of all, we have to go through and get rid of all of these Sun and Moon cards. So like I said, these ones won't be sticking around after rotation, while they are some great cards. We won't be able to play these after the rotation happens. Alright, so again, if you bought a second theme deck, you'll be able to up your boss's or discount to 4, which I highly recommend. So now we've got four Professor's Research, four Marnie, and four Cross's Orders. There's really no other supporters that I could recommend. I think this is pretty good. Alright, so normally you would go with Keep of Toughness over Big Charm, but since I'm trying to give you guys a deck that's a, where you don't have to buy a ton of singles, we're going to go ahead and use Big Charm instead of that, so we'll up the ca count of Big Charm to 2. Goop of Net is a great card, and you could include 4 copies, but if we look at our Pokemon again, you'll notice that we don't really have a purpose for Scoop of Net. It was really only in there for Jirachi, so we're going to go ahead and take those out. I don't think that more than two copies of energy switch is necessary in this deck, so we'll go ahead and drop the count of that to two. Ordinary Rod doesn't seem like a necessary card either, so we'll take that out. You're gonna have to buy some crushing hammers. You definitely want four copies of this in your deck. It's a great card, and it goes to any deck, but it makes this deck even more aggressive. So you'll wanna ha you'll have to buy some of those, which is unfortunate, but it is only just a common item card, so it won't cost too much. Alright, so we still have a Rangaroo in here, and I'm actually going to up the count of that to 4 copies. Because if you've seen my 5 ways to make the most of your Sashi and V video, you'll know that with a Rangaroo, you can put a Metal Energy from your hand on the top of your deck, and then when you use Sashi and V's Intrepid Sword, it, you get immediate access to that Metal Energy, and it's guaranteed. 
So that's pretty nice. So we're going to include four copies of that Orangaroo. All right, and we've got two spots left in the decks. So we're just going to put our metal energy count up to two. It can't hurt to have some more energy in the deck so we can get that energy going with Intrepid Sword. All right, so taking one last look at this Sashian deck that we took that we created from two Sasha V League battle decks. So it probably won't cost you a ton. We only had to you probably only had to buy a few singles. You might have already had them in your collection. So do a quick recap here. We've got four copies of Orangaroo, four Goyer Meow, four Goyer and Berserker, four Zashian V, four Crushing Hammer, two Inner CG Switch, four Metal Saucer, four Quick Ball, four Switch, four Bosses Orders, four Marnie, four Professor's Research, two Big Charm, and 12 Metal Energy. And this is looking a lot like your normal Zashi and V Turbo deck. So I guarantee you that this will take you a lot farther than that regular Zashi and V League Battle deck would. And the best part is it's rotation proof. So you can keep playing this for at least an entire year. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and play a game. I'm getting ready for a tournament that's coming up in a couple of weeks, and so I've been testing this deck. So this is gonna be the second time I've played this deck. It isn't post rotation proof, and it's not the deck that we talked about today, but it still uses Zashi and V, so you might see some tips from this. And it is the ADP Z deck, so while you still can play that ADP Z from that League Battle deck, it might help you out to see a different way to play this. Okay, cool. Looks like some psychic build. Uh, I'm guessing Shadow Raider Calyrex VMAX. That's a pretty popular Psychic deck right now. With Gengar, Mimikyu, Shadow Raider Calyrex. It's a pretty neat deck. Alright, sweet. I won the coin flip. So, let's see here. Um, yes, I would like to go first. Because since we're playing that ADP, we want to get that turn one attachment. Alright, looks like all we got was Zamas into V to start. But, we only run one copy in here. So, that's kind of a bummer. But we do have a couple quick ball here, so we can use those to find ADP, and I'm thinking of the Dene. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Okay, so... I don't have a switch. Alright, so I'm going to... Quick ball. Let's get rid of this Malanwana. And I'm gonna find... Oh, yeah, let's do ADP. Grab that. We'll play it out onto the bench. And then I think I'm going to attach Metal Energy to Samazenta. We will do Energy Switch. Move it to ADP. Quick Ball. Get rid of Metal Saucer. We'll find the DNA. Looks like there's only two in our deck. I played three, so I know there's one of my prize cards. It's great. Play down to the bench. We are getting rid of a crushing hammer, but we play four copies in the deck, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, so now we got a Ringaroo, so scoop up that professor's research. Not the greatest hand. But let's go ahead and use this primate wisdom. Let's put a scoop up that on top of the deck. Alright, there's a Zashi V. That's pretty great. So that'll allow us to end our turn with a bit more of a bane. So we can draw some cards. Sweet, we got a switch. So next turn, I can attach that water energy to ADP and switch into the active position, and we can get that water creation off. So things are going according to plan. All right, now we've got this tag call, but that's not really going to do us any good. But we want to make sure we get that water energy on there. Ah, uh, I don't know if there's really anything else necessary to grab for the deck here. Uh, let's go ahead and tag hold. Get that ADP. Usually, you only need one ADP, so if you have another one, you can just kind of use it to throw away or whatever. See if we can get something from this. Christian Hammer. Yeah, not great. So we'll just go ahead and switch. And we will use Ultra Creation. Boom. Boosting 30 damage, and we get to take an extra prize card whenever we take a knockout. It's way too good. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just going to attach a metal energy here. Yep, do that. And we don't really need a crushing hammer because we're going to knock him out anyway. I don't want to throw away the scoop of nuts quite yet. There's not really a reason to professor's research. Uh, let's do primate wisdom. See if we can maybe get something. Jirachi. Uh, yeah, let's play that down. That'll, that'll be nice to fall back upon. 
and ultimate ray. That's really overkill. I only had um, like 50 HP. Yeah, because we did 180. So that was a little overkill, but that's alright. We'll load up this sashing with this metal energy, so it's good to go. Alright, got a metal saucer. And a Dedene. Sweet. So now we got access to all of those Dedene. Well, we've already used one. Here comes another Inke, where you get smashed with 180 damage. Sashi in it is. It's your turn to shine. We'll do Metal Saucer. Salmacenta. Oh, we don't need a Crushing Hammer. Let's pop Sashi in onto the bench. And... Go just Brave Void. So yep, do that. And if I can get some energy, I might get some off this prize card. Crushing Hammer. Keep this. Okay. Um, there's still options for Psycho Energy. There's three metal in the deck. So it kind of depends. Does he have the Malamar? Can you use Octillery to find it? There's some metal energy. Alright. So now... I'm gonna put the Cape of Toughness on Zamzenta. Let's do the Crushing Hammer. And we'll Stellar Wish. There's a Metal Saucer. Alright, we've got him. Sweet. So we get that. Metal Saucer. Zamzenta. Metal Energy. Scoop up net. Put that into deck. And we'll put up Zamzenta. Boom, we conceded. Alright. Let's see what we got from this mystery box. 27 coins, not bad. Alright, so we got a pretty sweet victory right there. That's win number two for this deck that I'm preparing for a tournament, so I'm feeling pretty confident with it. It's pretty nice. But we're gonna go ahead and open up a pack of Rebel Clash to close out the video. See if we can't get something good from this. Try and think of cards that might be good to pull from Rebel Clash. I think Andy just like cool looking. Nice. Ah, it's just a ludicolo regular rare. That's alright. We got plenty of coins, so we'll open up another pack in the next video, probably. If you guys enjoyed today's video of me showing you how to turn your basic Sashi and V-Week battle deck into an amazing post-rotation Sashi and Turbo deck. If you enjoyed, like the video, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Leave me a comment if you did this transformation on your Sashi and V League battle deck. I'd love to hear it. And if there's any changes you would make to the deck. It was always great to hear other opinions. Well, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.